hi! <laughs> Welcome to a new video, I'm Shock, Mr. Pink Ink, and today we are starting my vlog for the Magical Readathon Autumn Semester at William Academy. Um, it is already the 9th of August, ah, September, goodness. Um, that's because I just finished up my last video. Um, being the only big bum bum matters tomorrow read along. Um, I had a problem with the last challenge. <laughs> so it took a while. So I just finished that and then um Yeah, I've just been informed this morning also that I in another tandem read along and that's just the end of this week, maybe next week. So yes, I'm gonna do that. But that's for the instrumentalist, which is a part of this uh, months TBR, uh, my Aurelium uh, um, Academy curriculum, um, but that will also get its own video, so, okay, so, yeah, I'm doing my second year of the Spell Sword, um, so, we need to get onto that, and I'm going to read the books in the order that the things are listed. The kettle quick. The kettle is boiling. The kettle quick. <laughs> Hi again. Okay. <laughs> Just needed to get some coffee. Okay, second year of spell sword. This is going to be um crunch time or we write exams this year this semester I need to read six books in the four subjects in total six books in total um, this time around you need to read either one two or three books per subject depending on the qualification that you need for your chosen career path um, I'm also super excited for the new Guild Emporium points, the Guild Reputation points, and what you can do with them. Um, at this point in time, I've just gone and had a quick look. I, I don't know what I'm going to do with it yet, but I've got 520 points that need to be spendings and then we need to keep track of what's going on. I also don't know any side quests of yet. I need to check into that as well. <coughs> um, hold up. Sorry, just needed to get my little notes for myself. <sighs> Pardon me. So like I said, I'm going to be reading them in order of my subjects. Can you see? Um, and I need a cue in animal studies, which means I need to read two books because O, Q, O for ordinary, Q for qualified, and D for distinction. If you need a D, you need to read three. Hello. So the first book in animal studies, um, we are studying Rebirth of the Phoenix or something, and they want us to read a book with Phoenix in the title or on the cover, and of course I'm going with... The Phoenix Ballroom by Ruth Hogan. You can pause to read, or you can go check Goodreads. Uh, this will be my first Ruth Hogan novel. Um, already people are telling me that they love Ruth Hogan and, and everything else before that, so I'm looking forward to this one. And yeah. Let's get into it. Okay. Bye. <laughs> Turned out to be a nice day. There's some warm. There's less wind today. Love less wind because it has my eyes. And it makes me cold. Okay, so I'm actually 50 pages in. Okay. 
And so far we've we will be learning the characters. We've been introduced to the characters. So we learned about Benicia. Um, she is in her seventies, I think, and she just lost her husband, who was in his eighties. And now her son is fapping over her and wants to get her a granny nanny. Okay, somebody who can assist her and help her and stuff in a in a dotage, being elderly, which she hates because. She doesn't feel. She also, you know, she's had a life and now she feels free and she wants to just do what she wants to do and feel what she wants to feel without constraints. Um, and then the other character that we meet is Liberty Bell. Um, and her mother also just passed away, but now her mother never left her a thing. Or her mother left her stuff in the will under certain, that she can only get under certain conditions, but she's not allowed to know what it is or what the conditions are. So now she's kind of homeless. Her mother didn't lift her anything. The house has to be sold. So she applied to be the granny nanny. So out of all the things um, Venetia feels that uh, her and her son is taking things over and you know obviously she didn't like anything so eventually she took over the interview and then when they decided who they were going to do there was the choice of who Heron wanted and who Venetia wanted. Turns out that Venetia wanted Liberty Bell and now that is where we are at. Also because, you know, her husband died, he was in his 80s. <laughs> her son feels that she's now more at risk so he's had a home installation installed and outside lights and a security system and blah, blah, blah. Anyway, so now that's where we are at and we're about to continue with where Liberty is moving us up into the um, apartment above the garage. So, yeah. Um, I thought this was historical fiction, but it's actually not. Um, it's contemporary-ish. I don't know exactly what the what the time stamp is on here. But I'm enjoying it. It's also a bit, you know, there's, there's tongue-in-cheek. It's told tongue-in-cheek, so like little moments. Um, very short ones. Not, not laugh out loud moments or, or that kind of thing. So this is fun. The writing is great so far. Nothing fancy, nothing complicated. Um, and yeah, I've heard a lot about Ruth Hogan. So, so far so good. But this is only 50 pages in. Yeah. If you've read this book, let me know what you think down below in the comments. If you have read any Ruth Hogan books, let me know which you have read and what you thought of it. Because um, if I like this one, then I might get more. Have you read The Keeper of Lost Things? Have you? Mm -hmm. Okay. Bye. Let me continue reading. See you later. I have this problem with the trees on my roof. Overgrowing. Look. It's even come all the way down. I nearly took out this window and my neighbor's window and I need to cut them down because I've asked my nephew and, and I've asked my nephew. I'm in my lumberjack era. Hello, hi, welcome to Wednesday the 11th of September um, Yeah, just on a side note I've just been confirmed, confirmed that I've been accepted for the instrumentalist um, I read along with Tandem, so that's great That is I ever the last book on my list, the 5 star prediction um, even though it'll get us on video, it's still going to be the last book. So I'm going to read that in between.
this book. I think starting at the, the end of this week or the beginning of next week and it's 11 days long. 11 days. 11 challenges. Oh no. Oh no. Okay. Um, I am currently on page back to the Phoenix border. 192. Um... And so far, we've learned that Benicia worked at the Phoenix Ballroom in 1971 when she was a young girl. And that's where she met her the husband that just passed. And we've also learned that the timeline is 2022. Um, so, so, Liberty started to work with Benicia. She's moved in, she's settled in. Um, Benicia got herself a dog, a, a, a rescue dog. That's cool. Um, and then, of course, while they're getting to know each other, uh, they get a phone call to say that her grandson, Kite, has disappeared from boarding school. So, a chase ensues. And now he's living with Grandma and Liberty. And then... <coughs> pardon me. And then over Christmas, the Auntie Swan comes to... Benicia's sister-in-law comes to Great Aunt Swan comes to stay for Christmas but has been staying there. In the meantime she has now put in an offer to the boardroom. Oh, she's also met various sundry other people, um, specifically one of them being Evangeline who is the pastor of her own church or whatever, of a church and it's a spiritual kind of a church, um, which is on the first level of the thing and then on the second level is the Phoenix ballroom, which is in disuse. And blah, blah, blah. Um, so now Benicia has made a bid on the Phoenix Ballroom because of sentimentality, but she also wants to help. She has lots of things because she wants to help. So that's as far as we are. Oh, and Liberty has now decided to tell um, both Swan and Kite and both or Benicia about the suspicious inheritance game what what um and they have just had the first assessment with their lawyer and swan went with and so far they haven't discovered anything so we still have no clue as to what we need, uh, liberty needs to do to get what she's going to get which we also don't know so yes the, I'm, I'm loving it i'm enjoying the story now this is the kind of book that I classify as a slice of life, but it needs to be interesting. I don't want to read about somebody like me, because I'm living my life, but this is interesting. So, young, yeah. so we do get some flashes into the past, you've had two so far. Oh, and there's also a mysterious, other mysterious character called Crow. Because of his name, one would think he's part of the family, but it doesn't seem to be. It doesn't seem to be. He's just there. We don't know what his role is yet. He did help save Kite when he was missing boarding school. So, there's some there's some intrigue going on there. We don't know yet, and, and I really want to know. So, yeah. Um, Wednesday has turned out to be a beautiful day, 23 degrees. Although my perfect... Degrees 24 low. Um, it's getting cold again. The temperature is going down. So um, I'm going to be getting ready to go shower and then settling in for the evening. Um, yeah. What are you? What? It came buzzing by my ear. I don't even know what it is. Yikes. Okay. Now the problem with spring and summer is bugs and bugs and bugs and of course flies. Why? 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 Anyway, I'm really enjoying this. I'm more than halfway through. Um, mm. If you like Ruth Hogan, you'll definitely like this. This is my first Ruth Hogan. Didn't know what to expect. I'm enjoying the writing. Um, so yeah, I can't wait. I can't wait. Goodbye.
Welcome to Friday. Um, it started out looking bright and then it went all gloomy. And now the last noonday sun, noonday, midday sun, late afternoon sun is coming through the window. Still cold. I'm finally finished with the Phoenix Ballroom by Ruth Hogan. And I loved it. Um, so what I was saying was that there's now Venetian, Liberty, and Swan, and Kite, okay? Um, and then Liberty bought the ballroom, and she's got the ballroom. Um, and then since what happened is that there was fire, and the sun came home unexpectedly with marital problems, and yeah, and so on and so forth. So there was a lot of unexpected stuff. I teared up a little bit. I'm not going to lie. I teared up at least four times. Um, and there were a couple of times where, you know, there was this butt clenching moment. like, ooh, what's going to happen here? So this was fun. This is what I like to call, as I said before, a slice of life story. Uh, it's just a novel. It's, it's, but they've got great characters, and I love a story with great characters, and it's a good story. It's so nice and generous and heartwarming. Um, and it's about kindness. And it's about reinventing oneself and second chances. Also, there's some hidden background about the guy that died in the beginning of the book, um, Hawk. And, and the history, where it's now 2020, the history happens in... 1971, 72, and then again further on into 1986. And there's some fun, interesting facts that come out there, and it's like, oh, mm, I wasn't expecting that. Yeah, so. Yeah, so. Look, um, four stars, okay? Four stars. I, I did enjoy this. Um, I don't know what to say. I, I did enjoy it. The, the writing is great. It's nice. It's uncomplicated. This is my first Ruth Hogan novel. Um, so I'm definitely looking forward to more. I have been told by others, some mutuals, that, you know, um, that they love Ruth Hogan. So they've read things before this one. Um, so yeah. I'm going to do that. So now that one, thank you very much. It's my first finished, completed book for Magical Readathon. Um, and now I need to go on to my Q level, ah, my O level. Yes, no, sorry, my Q level. And I need to read a standalone. Um, for that one, we're going with Black Sunlight by Dambuzzo Marechera, um, courtesy of Jonathan Ball. Publishers, you can pause to read. You can also check Goodreads if this isn't. Um, this is part of the Heinemann African series, and it's got a new home at Apollo Africa. You can't see the bookmark much there, but it's there. Um, and there's a nice bunch of books. Um, a few different ones have been sent out. I got this one. It's kind of matchy matchy. Um, so yeah. So we're looking forward to this one. This one is about a journalist named Christian who goes to an unnamed totalitarian state. And records all the actions they push the country further towards chaos. They are in the midst of fighting for chain, a group of black sunlight, a group of violent anarchists. Okay. So this is... Skitskopendorner. Um, probably a liberation kind of a, a book. So yeah, so that's that. Also, um, am I the read along for The Instrumentalists is supposed to start on Monday. The books have already been sent out, but some of us still haven't gotten it yet. And I'm surprised because I'm normally one of the first ones to get a book. Um, so it's Friday. It's late afternoon already. 
it's almost four o'clock and uh, I don't know that I'm gonna get a delivery still today um, the courier guy normally sends SMS's so no I haven't received any yet I don't know if they are going to deliver on Saturdays and Sundays I don't know I haven't had a delivery sorry also so I don't, I don't have the book. I don't know if we're going to start on Monday or if enough people don't have the book that they are going to push the day forward a bit. I do have the arc of the instrumentalists and I have already read it. <laughs> uh, but I have a problem with the review because I it was exquisite. So... That's why I joined the read along because the challenges and the questions I hope will help me think So I'll make a video review instead of a written review. You see? So if I don't get a book and I sort of Monday, then I can still use the oh, copy. So yeah. And that's as far as we at. We're gonna get on to this one. I will catch you up soon. What are your weekend plans? Let me know if you did anything fun. Bye. <laughs>second week of Magical Readathon and I'm only on book number two. It's so sad. I've been busy. So, sorry. I am 30 pages in, okay? Um, and this kind of reads like a poem. It's like prose. It, it's kind of hard to get into and, and, and see what these, how he thinks, I suppose, um, or his writing style. Um, I'm assuming they're uh, him. Sorry, I'll just say they, if I can. I don't know what's going on here yet. <laughs> so we start off the book and he's... ...been captured or something because he's like, he went to a tribe's... He's civilized and they're not, and he bought the music and poetry and la la la, and he was thrown into a pit, and then they were attacked by leopards, and then he escaped. <laughs> and then he fell down and fell unconscious, and then his friend had to save him. Uh, a white girly. And now he's talking about his childhood. So I have no idea where this book is going, or what it's about just yet. Um, but it's... The writing takes some getting used to, not gonna lie. Uh, I'm also kind of bored. Also not gonna lie, I'm kind of bored. They used the term black sunlight twice already. And I still don't understand the term black sunlight. It's got something to do with the sunlight and the feeling and the thing and the mood at the time. It's black sunlight that shines on it. I don't know. This is also published 1988 originally. 1988. So this is historical fiction. Can you believe? Uh, nine, copyright 1980. Sorry, my bad. 1980. Um, and it was... We published this edition is published in 2024. Oops. So yeah. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. And the writing is also teeny tiny. So 
It looks bigger on the screen. It does. Don't judge me. Well, anyway. See you later. Bye. Quarter past 7 a.m. and I'm in the same clothes as I was yesterday. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. That's because I'm awake all night, okay? Because of my internet restrictions. So, um, I would have actually gone back to sleep by now. Oops. Um, but I got an SMS to say that the courier guy is out for delivery for my book for the read along for the instrumentalist. Um, yeah, so I need to get on to reading this. I have The Betrayals, which is yay thick, and I have The Book of Elsewhere, and I have an arc coming, and I'm possibly in another read-along starting on the 18th, which is also this week. It's like, um, but I don't have the book, and I don't know if I was chosen, so we'll see. And that book is this thick, but that's a month long week's on, so that's fine. So yeah, today is just starting off with a bang at Salah. Monday is Monday Ying. Lol. <laughs> so yeah, so I obviously need to make myself ready because I've got a new video to make for the instrumentalist. Yeah. Also, do keep an eye on my stories um, on Instagram and then you'll have updates lively. But the instrumentalist is getting its own video. Um, so I will... So, so you won't get any of that in this video. Sorry, um, but yeah, do keep an eye out for that one. Uh, uh, yeah. Okay, I need coffee. It's early or late. Well, it's late and early for me. Okay, bye. Awesome. Thank you very much. Have a nice day. Have a day, day and you. You too, well. Stay safe, bud. See you, well. Ciao, ciao. I wonder what this be, lol. Yeah, okay, look, so I am 78 pages in. Mm -hmm. I'm on the start of chapter 7, okay. So this is a story about a guy who grows up somewhere. It's unnamed, it's unnamed. It says so in the back of the book as well, we haven't. And he becomes a photo journalist and it becomes part of a resistance movement called Black Sunlight. But he's used Black Sunlight three times already, but not in the sense of that the group is Black Sunlight. Like she is bathing in her Black Sunlight kind of a thing. Do you know what I mean? Um, this book... It's annoying me. I'm, I'm not going to lie. It's really hard for me to read. It's not hard like Game of Thrones hard. It's like... I don't know. Sometimes it sounds like performance poetry. Um, and there's no sense of these characters. I do know that Susan, one of the side characters, is completely mad. And the conversations that they're having is roundabout and sometimes pointless so yeah i'm um, um and there's a lot of there's a lot of sex but not on the page six just sex i don't know i'm st there's there's a hundred just over a hundred pages left i'm going to give it another go as far as i can and see I probably get um don't want to DNF anything. But life is too short. Well so it's oh it's like quarter to three PM already and I'm getting hungry, but I need to go to the shops. 
Uh, to buy eggs and stuff. Ugh. Bye. Oh guys, look, I've done another few pages, and start up chapter 7, and Christian goes to the camp, wherever, and the guy, the mustering in guy, the guy that gives you all your stuff, and thanks your name, blah, 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 fat, and bald, and gross, and la 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 la, this guy is just talking, trying to get Christian to shit with him. He, he sees the future in people's shit. Okay, this is a very shitty subject. Sorry. And this is not for me. I'm sorry. I'm done. It's been three, four pages. And now, yeah, look. Start of chapter seven. And then, one, two, three, and then four. And I'm there. And now, yeah, I'm sorry. This, I'm, I'm, this is a DNF. This is a DNF. Sorry. Sorry. It's not for me. I don't know. I don't know what to tell you. It's not for me. Um, yeah. So I'll be spending some guild points um, to buy the thing that allows me to count a DNF. Because you can't count a DNF. If you DNF a book in this readathon, you have to replace that book. <laughs> Unless you got a scroll of something, something. And I'm going to buy me one. So that's going to count. Um, so, I'm not rating that because I DNF'd it. So, no rating. Um, I got as far as page 82 and I couldn't anymore. Well, thank you to Jonathan Bork for sending it to me. Uh, they could have sent me another one. I might have enjoyed another one in the series. I don't know. But I did not enjoy that one. And I am DNFing it, meaning I'm not going to finish it. It did not finish instead of not right now in RN. Okay, meaning I'm not going to go back to it later. Uh, and that's that. Okay, so that finishes my animal studies. Um, that's two books down. Yay. Again, I'm looking at the wrong side of the camera for the camera. It's usually, yeah. I don't know why I do that to myself. Anyway, so now we're going to go on to demonology. For demonology, I only need an, uh, a Q. A Q. I only need a Q level. For qualified. I mean, sorry, I'm looking at the wrong place. I need an ordinary level, an O level. So I need to read one book. And for that one, um, I need to get a non-reader to pick my book for me. I wasn't able to do that in the TBR video, but this is how it went. Okay, so it's Monday. My nephew came home from work early. I'm going to ask him to choose a book for me. Let's see how that goes. Huh? Alexander! Um, I need to, somebody else, a non-reader, to choose a book for me to read this month. So, I've got these three books. Would you choose them for me, please? But I don't know what they... I know, just, just, just have a look at them and then... The Keanu Reeves one. I knew you were going to take this one. <laughs> and I know, you didn't come home, I was going to ask her early, but she was the only one who could choose this one. So... But I was Jason too. Yeah, I well, I didn't want to ask her, then it's fine. <laughs> so we're going with this one. The Book of Elsewhere. Uh, thanks. Oopsies, oopsies. Now, so we're going to go with mm, 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 The Book of Elsewhere by China Meeble and Keanu Reeves. Uh-huh. This is courtesy of Penguin Random House South Africa. Thank you very much. You can pause to read or go check Goodreads as usual, you know. Okay. It doesn't have that new book smell anymore. Not so much. But this is kind of... 
I know, fantasy sci-fi blend. It's kind of fluffy. We love that. Um, yeah. So we're going to do that. On a side note, I still have to read The Betrayal, The Instrumentalist. And yes, I have been sent the arc for my first restoration prompt, Night Sky on the cover, for um, The Full Moon Problem by Kate Clare. Thank you, Kate, for including me on your arc team. That's great. Um, I will be reading that shortly after I finish this one because I'm reading them in order. Um, which means that technically, technically, the instrumentalist is lost. However, it's a read along the stars tomorrow, so I have to read it in between. So, but you won't see this year. You won't see this year. Sorry. Um, I don't know. I think I need to end this blog here. Oh, there's only two books in that one, and then. There's going to be three books in the next one, four books in the next one. <gasps> well, I need a video to go up on YouTube. It's been more than a week. So, yeah. I am going to end this video here. I'm going to start this one and then I'll catch you up with that. And with that, thank you very much for sticking around. It's... Yeah, I don't know. It's spring in Cape Town and it's still cold and it's the end of Monday. The last afternoon lights. So yeah. Somebody's doing their lawn in the afternoon. <laughs> well, I suppose, you know, if they come up from work, they have to do it. Okay, bye. See you in the next video. Love, love.